Girls on the run. Girls on the run. Girls on the run. Okay, so it's race day. If you recall, we've been looking forward to this day for a while now. Looking forward? <laughs> John and I isn't have word, our shirts. Isn't the word dread? <laughs> John and I have our shirts on. Kaya's got her shirt on back there. We're going to kill it. We did it. Kaya did it. Did you have fun, Kaya? It was hot. But you did so well, sweetie. And so did John. I was impressed, actually. If it was more cool, I think I'd be fine. I think you would have been fine, too. Kaya did so well, and we all feel very accomplished. Wyatt even ran alongside of us. So I think I might sign me and Wyatt up for a 5K and see how that goes. But we did it! Yay! Now we're going to go have breakfast, lunch with Grandma and Grandpa, and Ava, who's in their car as well. We can get ice cream. Breakfast, lunch, ice cream. All right guys, so we're back. Another day in the life, trying to be not consistent because Kelly's not consistent, but at least trying to do these at least every once in a while because I know you guys enjoy them. Today's, however, is being sponsored by Glasses USA. You guys know I love Glasses USA. I get all my glasses from there. All of John's glasses are mostly from there. Ava's got some glasses from there. My parents have glasses from there. We love them. They're super affordable. Mine are pretty durable. I haven't had a single pair break and they're just convenient because you can order online. They're affordable because they cut out the middleman. You don't have to go anywhere outside your home. You just have to get your prescription and send it in and pick out the glasses. You can use their online little tool by uploading your photos so you can try them on. I've not had a single pair of glasses that I've picked out for friends or family or myself that have looked bad on me or them. So I think their little try on tool is pretty accurate. The great thing about Glasses USA as well is that they have designer and in-house brands. They're in-house brands I actually really, really like. You can find glasses super, super affordably um, through their brands or they have Ray-Bans, which you guys know I only order my Ray-Bans through them and other designer glasses and labels as well. Glasses USA also came out with contacts, which my oldest back there loves contacts. She, I think, prefers them over glasses, especially because of the current situation where masks are mandated in some places still. You know, glasses and masks just don't mesh very well or easily. That being said, I'm really excited and she's really excited that this affordable company has come out with their own contacts because, again, it just makes my life simpler in regards to ordering and it will make Ava's life simpler as she becomes an adult because she's 17 and is out on her own and will eventually have to buy her contacts herself. So Glasses USA Say's new contacts. They are called Vista Plus. They are FDA approved. They have cute packaging. They are made with hyaluronic acid and advanced technology that retains moisture and hydration to support healthy eye care and avoid dryness, which can be an issue with contacts. I am not a contact wearer, so I don't know these things, but that girl back there will probably tell you what things are comfortable and what things are not. The Vista Plus lenses also reduce irritation and redness caused by dry eyes and extended screen time, which again, that one back there probably gets some with her current contacts that she uses. And Vista Plus lenses protect against transmission of harmful UVA and UVB rays, which is awesome. Vista Plus's packaging and foil is recyclable, which you guys know I love a good recyclable packaging. And their contact lenses are available for $1 for a 10-day trial and then for $32 per month with a no-commitment subscription that can be canceled or modified at any time. That price also includes free shipping and free returns. So already Glasses USA's prices are more affordable than the contacts that Kaeva is currently using. I believe hers are like $500 a year, so that's a good $10 a month more expensive than these. I'm excited for her to try these. I'm going to make her put them in right now because A, I want to see how easily they go in, and B, I want to know truly what the comfort is of them. So this says, support your lifestyle, all-day moisture, UV protection, and reduce digital eye strain. Perfect for teens. You're the professional here. They're so cute. I don't really know what that means. They're cute? Well, because like the purple ones are kind of ugly. Oh. Oh, so like, how do you know what's what? It doesn't matter. They're the same. You have the same yeah, on both prescription sides. on both sides? So oh. if they were different, like I think Mia's were different, so they gave her two separate boxes. Oh, so she just like a right eye and a left yeah. eye? Okay. So there's one, two, three. So let's see, one, two, three, four, five. So there's 10 days in here, Ava. So if you like these, we'll just reorder the same ones. Okay. 
What do I look like right now without contacts in? A beautiful blob of blurriness. Yeah. A super cool I was mom blob. Say an orange blur. But... I'm well, I'm not orange. I remember the first time you tried to put a contact in and you cried. <laughs> Couldn't figure it out. Well, remember when after homecoming when the contact like fell out of my eye during homecoming and I thought it was still in my eye. And so what? Those go in like super easily. Are you being serious? Yeah. Like that was like really smooth. Okay, because I want you to be like legit honest about them. I am honest about everything. Yeah, almost to a fault. <laughs> Wonder where you get that from. How do you know if they're not inside out or not? Um, usually they aren't. Did that one go in easy too? Yeah. Um, if you look at it and you hold it up and if it's tilted outwards, I think it's inside out. Gotcha. But I can see. <laughs> really? Yeah. Like clearly? Mm -hmm. I got some glasses. It's been a while since I got new ones, so I was pretty excited when they offered to send me some. So I got two pairs. One, both of them, one of them's kind of like my standard tortoise shell. You guys know I like this certain like oversized. They're super cute. I've been wearing them at work a lot because they already have my standard uh, bend at the arms. So these are the first ones, which I love them. Then I got these, which I'm loving this glasses case. They came out with new glasses cases and I love this one. It's like magnetic, love it. And these are pink because I really wanted some pink glasses. The other ones I have that are pink are like too light pink. These are like super pink. And I just think they're really cute. A lot of people ask why I have so many glasses. Other than working with Glasses USA over the years, the reason why I like having a lot of glasses is because I tend to set my glasses down wherever I am last. And so it's nice because I can have a pair at my desk. I can have some in the car because sometimes when I'm driving, I need them. I can have a pair at work that I leave there. And then I can have a pair up next to my bed basically everywhere. And because they're so affordable through Glasses USA, it doesn't break the bank to have that many glasses. Like I know people think probably like, ooh, you bougie, you got glasses everywhere. No, <laughs> they're just affordable glasses from you, Glasses USA. So yeah, not bougie, just smart. All right, back to Ava. What do you think? I like them. They're definitely a lot softer than the ones that I use. Is that a good thing? Yeah. I don't really that's know. That's why they went in so smooth. Oh. Because usually when I'm putting in these other ones, I can like feel it poke into my eye like the corners, not oh. that it hurts. These ones, it's kind of like, boop, and it's in. Can you feel them? Yeah. That's nice. Yeah. They do, like, they felt a lot smaller than the other ones. Is that a bad thing? I don't think so. I was just surprised by how, like, smooth and small they were. But they still, like, you can still see? Mm-hmm. So you like them? Yeah. So would you want to start ordering these instead? I think so, yeah. Okay. Also, because I don't like the other people in my place. <laughs> okay 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 so here okay <laughs> this is another reason why we enjoy online ordering stuff like this so Ava didn't have the greatest experience at her last eye doctor in my defense I had nothing to do with the eye doctor place that was she goes to her dad picked it out she didn't have a great experience so she went there to get her prescription because you have to be like measured and stuff for your contacts yeah, just to make sure shoes. like the shape and the health of the eye is still good for contact lenses um so that is something that you have to do in person somewhere. But she's not a huge fan of her doctor's office that she was going to. And they kind of try to lock you into like a full prescription, like, or subscription. Like you have to buy, I think, what, sign up for the whole year. Yeah, well, when I went, because I went alone, they noticed I was alone. And it seemed as if they were trying to like sell me stuff as if I didn't know what I was doing. But like your last subscription, didn't you have to buy the whole, for a prescription? The didn't whole you? Year. Yeah, you yeah. had to buy for the whole year. So it's kind of annoying because if you don't have $500 outright to buy, buy a full year like what do you do especially if you're like 18 19 in college and maybe your parents aren't supporting you I mean let's be real John and I will probably be paying for her eyes and stuff for the next couple of years after she's in school but still if you're g going off you know and you know struggling like the fact that you have to pay $500 upright is kind of crazy so this is nice because we can just buy them at a month's worth and then change it or not do a full year and it's just way more affordable for everyone involved so she likes the Vista Plus I like that she likes them, and I like that they're more affordable, so. I might tell Mia about this. And now Ava's gonna go tell all of her little friends. So thank you so much, Glasses USA, for the awesome contacts and the glasses, and for uh, giving Ava 10 days more of good eyesight. Anyways, so 
Um, as you saw in the opening of today of today's vlog, um, we did the 5K. It went really, really well. Kai had a little bit of a meltdown. She's a little bit emotional this time of the month. Um, but she made it past the finish line. John and I felt really good. My knee felt like decent. I mean, it was in pain, but I taped it up before the run. It went really, really well. My parents came out. It was a good time. I am signing John and I up for another 5K, I think, because we felt so good in June. And Wyatt's going to run that one with us. He really wanted to run with us for the girls on the run, but he was not registered. So he kind of tagged along sporadically throughout the course, which was fun. Today is Thursday, though. I've had a crazy ass day. Uh, this morning I woke up at 6 o'clock. I had to be at my knee appointment at 6.50. I got a second opinion on my knee just because stuff is just not progressing the way that I want it to and that I feel like it should. I'm in a lot of pain still in my right knee when I stand up from working either at home or even at the office. Um, I limp if I drive anywhere more than 15 minutes I limp and it takes me a while to like get that stiffness out of my knee My full range of motion is not back I know that I may not ever get it back and that's fine But I would like to at least be able to stand with a straight leg without sharpshooting pain through my knee so my MRI results came back and my what I already knew was there's something called a cyclops lesion that is in front of my ACL that was repaired or replaced. Um, so it's basically a little like one, it's like pea sized lesion of like hard scar tissue and bone and cartilage that is in my knee. So it's impinging my uh, range of motion and it's also causing stabbing pain. What? Free glasses? That's cool. She just found a coupon for free glasses in her contacts. Um, I'll get you those. That's fine. And so that on top of something weird that was on my MRI from my meniscus, basically the new doctor that I saw this morning, the butt crack of dawn, said I have to go back for surgery if I want to have it completely fixed. In other words, I may not regain my full range of motion, but at least I can live pain-free. So... Yeah, I will be going back for surgery July 21st. I am upset. I am frustrated. I am scared. Um, I am just kind of sad about the whole situation. This will be the last time I complain about this. I'm really just trying to be positive from here on out. I've had a lot of anger this last 18 months over the person who caused this injury for me. I've had a lot of anger with the, not anger, but frustrations with the doctor that has just kind of like been very slow to move me along. Um, I've had frustration with my body for just constantly being up and down. I had frustration with the hospital. So as some of you guys know, if you watch my like old vlogs when I had my initial surgery done, um, part of my recovery was really stunted. A, because I became non-weight bearing for eight weeks because of my meniscus tear, but coming out of the hospital, I developed a rash that I didn't know what it was. I was really just like frustrated. It was probably a month and a half went by of having this rash that spread throughout my whole like leg. My doctor basically was like, oh, it's just an allergic reaction, this and that. Maybe it's your COVID shot. Maybe it's this, maybe it's that. I kept pressing and asking like, are you sure it's not some type of like parasite? Like my first instinct was scabies because I did the deep dive on Google when it first started. And he was like, no, 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 that's impossible. You know, you've been quarantining this last week in preparation for the surgery. You don't go anywhere, blah, blah, blah. No one else in your family has it. Like there's no way it's scabies. I went a month and a half with my leg just like blown up, pissed off, itchy, like I was miserable. I was downing Benadryl. I was taking these steroid things that he gave me, like making myself sick, trying to figure out what was wrong. Finally, after a month and a half went by and my leg just looked disgusting and I was just, you know, inflamed everywhere. He was like, maybe you should see your dermatologist. I kept asking, should I go see my dermatologist? No, 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 it's fine. It'll be fine. Finally saw my dermatologist. She took one second and was just like, when was your surgery? Told her, she was like, I'm treating you for scabies. She's like, you find this all the time in hospital settings, you know, especially for you because you've been quarantining. Like, I'm positive that's where you got it from. Sure enough, like, there's probably something in the bandage or whatever or sheets or I don't know. But, yeah, I that leg explosion was scabies. I had a full-on blown-out case of scabies, which I was so embarrassed to talk about, you know, months ago because I just, it just felt made me feel gross. I was just, I was embarrassed. Um, but... 
I contained it the second I found out what it was. And even before then, I was being very careful to wear a sleeve whenever I went out. Um, I did not sit on other people's furniture. I didn't go to other people's houses during that time. I stripped my bed every night. Like, I went full on, well, you guys know me. I went full on like crazy in my house to contain it and get rid of it. So um, I still had like phantom itching, <laughs> you know, months after, but it pretty much cleared it quickly after I got back, got on antibiotics. But this whole situation has been super frustrating. So long story short, I'm trying to just get rid of all this frustration and anger because it's not good for me. It's not going to be good for me heading into this third surgery. I'm really scared because this will be my third surgery in 18 months. I'm tired of going to the hospital. I'm tired of having $1,600 MRIs and x-rays and I don't know what anesthesia is doing to my brain and my body. All of this stuff is just like super overwhelming. So keep positive thoughts out for me. I will of course vlog before the surgery, but you know, it's a month and a half out from now, but I'm just frustrated. I'm gonna have to take time off of work, which is frustrating for my income and just my personal career growth. I'm frustrated because the time that I'm having my surgery is the time that the kids were supposed to be at my parents' house so that John and I could have like a nice staycation. Um, now it's gonna be me recovering from surgery. And just physically and mentally, I'm just like over it. Like I'm so over just like making gains and then being back to square one. Like this will be the third time where I'm like, oh yeah, I'm back on my feet, I'm feeling stronger. And then, nope, back to physical therapy, back to crutches, back to braces, like that kind of thing. So anyways, long story short, going back for surgery, don't know what the outcome's gonna be because he's like, there's stuff going on in there that I know is like an issue, but I can't tell until we're in, in there. So he can't really tell me exactly how my recovery is gonna go or the rate, but I'm gonna keep positive and I'm gonna keep working out, I'm gonna keep running, I'm gonna keep doing whatever leading up to the surgery and just hope for uh, a, a good outcome. But yeah, I had a work call this morning after my meeting or after my doctor's appointment. Um, it's now almost noon or if it might be noon, I need to actually get ready to go. I have to work this afternoon um, and then I'll be ditching out his work early because Wyatt's got his parent, mandatory parent meeting at the new school he will be attending next year, which he's super excited about and we're excited about, but I got a crap ton of paperwork I have to fill out for it. This is the question I'd like to and have answered by people who have kids in school but don't have family living in town. Who the heck do you put down for an emergency contact? I'm like racking my brain trying to figure it out. I have some close friends that I think I'm gonna ask, but we have no family in town. So I'm just like, the normal people I would rely on, I can't really use because they're not gonna be very helpful in an emergency. What do you do if you don't have like family? Like that's the same thing with like, if you have like, I don't know, when you do your wills or your guardianship for if you die, like who the heck do you pick if you don't have people you can trust in your life? These are things they don't tell you before you're having children. I just got to work, closing up all my windows because it's been off and on raining lately. I'm gonna go work a couple hours, then I gotta duck out of work early today, like I said, because I have Wyatt's school meeting that I'm meeting John and Wyatt at. Here we go, recording. Hi. <laughs> this is new. Um, I, we were just at my the new school, and now <laughs> we're going home. <laughs> How do I do this? How you vlog? <laughs> well, I, I don't know what to say. Just say what we're doing. So we're coming home for our new school, which is pretty exciting. Um, it's a pretty long drive. Well, it'll be worth it, right? Yeah. You know? Yeah. I think it's gonna be pretty cool for you. Yeah, I'm excited. Well, it's gonna be a middle school, he's growing up. My second baby. What's coming up tomorrow? My play. Your first one, right? Yeah. It's pretty exciting. It's scary though. I'm nervous a little. I've never really been afraid of public speaking, but it's my first like play. So yeah. You do awesome on it. And you get to miss school. Yeah. <laughs> Stay in school, kids. <laughs> <laughs> and don't do drugs. That's when you say, and don't do drugs. And don't do drugs. <laughs> it's off school and you won't. So the key is to not look at yourself. <laughs> you look at the lens. 
Not at yourself. <laughs> uh, I like Mike and Mike's. Who doesn't? I bet there's one person out there. There's probably more than one. God. There are a couple flavors of Mike and Ike's that I don't like, though. Comment down below if you like Mike and Ike's. <laughs> See, you got the hang of it. Like and subscribe. All right, so. Oh, got one kid taken care of. Now on to the next kid. Ava's driving me around in her car. <laughs> so I didn't feel old already. <laughs> Ava's officially a senior. Don't look over here, pay attention to the road. <laughs> She's officially a senior. I officially have a senior in high school who'll be graduating a year from now. Holy cow. <gasps> and she's driving me in her car. We're on our way, we just ate dinner and I'm just rushing out the door to do the next thing. We're on our way to go to my friend's house. So we're gonna water some of her plants for her while she's on vacation. So we're gonna go do that, get some instructions from her. Uh, we got two new jobs. She's killing it in the job department. Oh my gosh. <laughs> is that normal? Yeah. Wait, so this is my first time riding in Ava's car. Oh my god. We're gonna... I'm not gonna Nicely done, Ava. Thank you. Um, oh my gosh, the noises. <laughs> I mean, I remember my car being really loud, my first car. I had a 1982. Toyota Corolla stick shift for my first car. So, yeah, it was pretty loud, especially after the exhaust fell off. It sounded like I was like somebody from, keep going straight, 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 straight. It sounded like I was somebody from Fast and the Furious, but I'd pull up next to somebody and it was just me in a literally POS car. <laughs> just because my exhaust fell off and it was super loud. But anyways, yeah, we're gonna go get some instructions on how to water this plant or these plants for my friend. They're paying Ava to take care of that. She's gonna have a busy summer and hopefully make a lot of money because she's gonna have to save up money because this girl wants to leave me for college next year and be on her own. So I told her, well then you gotta start making money. <laughs> Keep going straight, you're gonna take a left at that light. It's 716 and I just wanna go to bed. I worked all three jobs today. Feeling pretty accomplished but exhausted right now. Oh and I need to do laundry. Oh and my parents are coming tonight. Just a few things. Nope, see that next one? There you go. So you better hurry, that truck's coming. I feel like Wyatt, Wyatt was vlogging in the car while I was driving. Now I'm vlogging in the car while Abe is driving. Yeah, I don't know if I would take this on the expressway, Abe. Um, I did a couple of days ago. Yeah, but on accident. No, I just did it because I was running late for uh, gym. And it was okay? Like the most it does is when I try to like accelerate, it like stutters a little bit sometimes and it takes a while to like get up there. Yeah, that's what you want on an on-ramp. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it didn't give me any difficulties. Oh Lord, all right. All right, you're gonna go over here. It is like 8.30, hi. John's playing basketball with Kaya. I am doing some alternative therapy on my knee just for pain because obviously it's not going to actually fix the issue but at least it helps with some of the inflammation and just achiness and stiffness that I'm having. So it's called moxibustion. Oh, they smell like I'm burning Marlboro lights. Basically it's mugwort and it's used for like acupuncture and Chinese medicines and stuff like that but it like heats really really hot to the point where I feel like my skin is burning and then they burn out but um yeah it's extreme heat almost painful pain and then after they burn out and the heat pain pain goes away your area at least my knee has been feeling like a lot more flexible and just like I don't know just like a really intense heating pad so to speak um but Anyways, I'm waiting for my parents to get here so that I can greet them and go to bed because I'm tired and there are about two loads of laundry waiting for me on my bed to fold and put away. 
<sighs> what else is going on next weekend Ava's having her end of the year school party here so there's gonna be like 30 high school students here probably more I already warned our neighbors our 80 something year old neighbors next door are the coolest they're so sweet I was like warning them about it and I was just like just to let you know like Ava's having her all of her friends over for an end of this you know school year party because she missed prom and COVID and, like kind of ruined their high school experience and I said don't worry I'll get them out of here by 9 30 10 of the latest and they're both like what let them be 17 like let them have a party we don't care just do let them be and I was just like okay but they're just awesome they're ugh, I love our neighbors it was really scared moving because we had such a close relationship with our old neighbors but I really enjoy our neighbors I just I really they're just awesome but yeah and then that morning of Ava's party I'm actually having a brunch for my parents anniversary so they're actually coming out again next weekend we were gonna do it last weekend as a surprise with all of my with all my nieces and nephew and my siblings but two of my siblings caught COVID that week so we couldn't do it we you know didn't want to we wanted to play on the safe side and also we had so many things coming up over the weekends that we just didn't want a chance the kids getting sick because wouldn't that be our luck why it got sick right before his play okay so my new anniversary band and my wedding band showed up today so they'll compliment this as you guys know Alicia was so sweet to do this for me she did my engagement ring for me I'll link that video underneath this if you want to see it but I am super excited. John and I's anniversary is next week. Yeah. When's our anniversary? Monday. Is Monday the 23rd? Third. So, <laughs> just in time. Ah! I'm so excited. Oh my gosh. I'm going to link Alicia's Instagram underneath here. She does custom jewelry. She's amazing. She does redes redesigns. So basically what I did was I sent her my wedding band and my engagement ring, my originals. And then I sent her back the platinum wedding band that she had made me a couple years ago. I sent those to her and she's redesigning them all and putting all of my original stones in platinum. So that way I won't have allergic reactions anymore. And yeah, that's what she did. She's making, she made me an anniversary ring and a wedding ring. So I'm so excited. Okay, I have to take a picture. Hold on, because the packaging always gets me. So it's got care instructions in here, a little note from her, and then a little polishing rag, which is awesome because these are so nice. I'm nervous. Oh, there's another box. Okay, this is it. Oh my gosh, they look so much better than in the uh, like my original bands. Like the diamonds are so much sparklier. It could also be because she cleaned them when she took them out, but. That's what they look like. Holy cow. I'm so excited. Okay, so. Okay, gotta take a picture. All these pictures. I mean, this is the problem is that videos are not gonna do these rings justice. <gasps> look at that. So excited. Okay. Oh, good, it fits. And then that one fits. I haven't worn my wedding rings in so long because she, as she was redesigning them, I had to send back my, I didn't have to, but I sent back my wedding band that was made out of platinum so that she could recycle the metal and use it in these. So because of that, this ring was a little bit loose because I've lost some weight, so I haven't been able to wear anything on my finger, but now everything's home. Look how pretty. Do you like them? Look how pretty. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. <sighs> what do you girls think? I like it. Oh my gosh, look at that. It's so sparkly. And they all fit together really well. I kind of am kicking myself for not sending back my engagement ring when I sent all the other stuff back because she could have repolished the platinum. Because as you can see, there's a little bit of difference of the sheen just because I've been wearing my engagement ring so much. So with platinum, it never dulls because this is the metal that it is. But what happens is it can kind of start getting scratched. So it gives it like a patina worn look, which I don't mind at all. But now you can tell the difference of what's new and what's not. But holy cow, oh my gosh, they're so pretty. And the fit is perfect because she sent me ring sizers. We met online and talked about like the fit and how I wanted it and it just, they're better than I expected. Oh my gosh. And this video is not going to do them justice. If you have any type of redesign that you're looking for or you want custom jewelry or you want one of her designs, I'm going to leave her link underneath this video because she's awesome. Yay. Can you see it from there, John? Is it shiny? Mm -hmm. People know I'm married now. I hope so. 
Holy cow, they're so pretty! Alright, we're on our way to Wyatt's performance. Girls dressed up. My mom's here, my dad's here, John's driving. It's gonna be exciting. Yay, so exciting. Are you nervous? Nope. Oh, I'm nervous for him. Sunday, so I look like a hot mess. Ooh, I really look like a hot mess. Uh, the kids are scattered. John is not here. I'm home by myself, which feels amazing. I really need to get some work done. I have some deadlines for a campaign due soon. And because I'm working outside of the home now, multiple days a week, and we're preparing for my boss to go on vacation, I just need to buckle down and get some stuff done. So in order to do that, you guys know I need a quiet house. The kids' last week of school is this week. I still need to get teacher gifts together, so I think I'll do that Tuesday um, after work. And then we're getting ready for my whole family. I think I mentioned this earlier, to gather for the first time in, holy cow, it'll be the first time in seven years, I think, that all four of my siblings will be together, and then it'll be the first time ever that all of my nieces and nephew will be together. So that is on Saturday, hopefully, if people stay healthy. Like I said, my sister and brother got COVID last time we tried to play in this. And then um, Ava's having her little, not little, I guess it's going to be a big party, end of the year stuff. So yeah, there's just a whole lot of stuff to get done, but we just have to make it through this weekend. We just have to make it through this weekend. And then I just have a week and a half left of like out of the house work and then I'm on vacation for that job and then I can just concentrate on my work here for a week. I'm gonna go real quick, slap some makeup on my face and change and then film a video or two. Ugh, I look like a hot mess. You guys don't care, right? I know you don't, you don't care. So I got all the work I needed to get done done today. It is sunset, so John and I are gonna hop in the hot tub. Our anniversary is tomorrow, so we're just spending some quality time together because Mondays are a really late day for me at work. So, yeah, we're gonna. Yeah, I'm not naked. I have a bathing suit on. We're gonna do some hot tubbing. Hot tubbing. All right, guys. So it is Monday. I am going to end this vlog because a my battery is about to die, and b I need to go to work again. Thank you, Glasses USA, for sending not only the glasses but also the contacts. If you want to check them out, Vista Plus contacts. They are amazing. Ava actually texted me and was like, "Did you order glasses?" Because she went back to her dad's house over the weekend. She's like, did you order my contacts? I said glasses, I meant contacts. She's like, they're really, really comfortable. She's already told all of her friends. Um, I think she really just enjoys how easy they go in because she struggles with her other ones. And again, she said that they were a lot softer, which I didn't know, I'm not well versed in contacts, so I didn't know that there was a difference, but she said that they were more comfortable throughout the day because they were softer and they didn't feel like they were bothering her at all. So in regards for teenagers, easy, affordable, comfortable, those check all the boxes. Also. UV protection and all of that and she can see really well so I gotta order those for her among all these other things that I still need to do but if you want to check those out or any of the glasses that I got check the link below and yeah again thank you glasses USA for sponsoring today's video I very much appreciate it now I gotta get off to work and I will see you guys all in my next video bye